wanted to come out and help her if she would accept it, and she did. So she's going home with me. Plus, a daughter sees our original report and takes action. And with that, we say good evening, folks. I'm Marissa Bailey in for Kate Sullivan. And I'm Rob Johnson. Last night's story really touched a nerve. CBS 2's Brad Edwards profiled a woman and a son living in a tiny, smelly, rundown shed. Less than 24 hours later, they're reunited with a loved one. Brad has the follow up that will warm your heart. It hurts terrible. 12 hours after a news blurb. I'm with my family. A night ago, a mother and son squatting in a shack by the jail. Help me get out of this hole. That's what I want. Tears through piercing blue eyes. Those same eyes. It's um, it's heartbreaking. When I seen seen the report, I just started crying. I haven't seen my mother in over 25 years, and I didn't know where she was. Today, daughter. And mother rematch. I haven't seen her in 25 years, and I still love her. Shirley Bennett was living here with her son in a parking lot. You go to the bathroom in there? Yeah, we're going in a bucket. Tell me about your pain. It hurts terrible. Why? Because I got cancer. And they were told they needed to be out. Within 90 minutes of the airing, an email from Oregon. You found my sister. We've been searching for her for 50 years. Help her. Then a voicemail from another sister in Florida. Good afternoon, Mr. Edwards. We have been looking for Shirley since 1982 after our mother had passed, and I'm just so thankful that she's alive. A slew of sheriff's personnel arrived today, too. Marshaled medical help, potential housing. For a quarter century, a daughter thought. To be honest, not. <laughs> 25 years washed to today. Together. So she's going home with me. Hopefully I can get on my feet. So what happened? What led to living in a shack? What happened to 25 years? We get the feeling a lot, but they're together tonight. In the newsroom, Brad Edwards, CBS 2 News. One 90-second story to bring people from across the country to help this woman. Brad told me tonight he got 30 emails, family, friends, oh strangers gosh. We willing were to help. We tweets, emails, everything, and I was just passing them on to him just because yeah. I knew he'd be in a position to react to it. And I think I have the same reaction, and you do too, that we had last night, which was, it's just stunning and unbelievable. And then two sis you know, sisters. Right. And um, it's amazing also, too, that, you know, there's a lot of stories out there like that. And kudos to Brad and, and you know, for finding it and telling her story. And I don't think this is the last that we're going to see of her. Uh, it's not because I believe Brad's doing a story tonight on our news at 10. So we hope you'll watch then. Uh, really uh, remarkable stuff. Thanks, Brad.